Hey everyone, it's your buddy Graphic back with another video, and today we're going to be jumping into what you get out of Outpost Rush. A lot of people don't really realize the kind of loot, the kind of gold, Azoth, all of it that you get out of Outpost Rush. So we're actually going to be opening 10 different Outpost Rush caches. By the way, we also have a War Spoils for level 60 players here as well. So we're going to open all 11 of these containers, tell you guys exactly what you get for each and every single time you play outpost rush so thank you guys again for tuning in make sure to like the video subscribe to the channel turn notifications on let's jump straight into it We are going to be jumping straight into this Outpost Rush caches and opening every single one to see what kind of gear we can get. I do know that there's a lot of great gear in here, but I do want to kind of show you guys exactly how this works. So you can go to any faction rep in your town as long as you're level 60. You can actually go to join Outpost Rush and join as a solo player. Instantly when you press that, you'll get in a queue and you'll be able to join in right away. Since this has come out, I've been able to get into games very, very easily. Uh, you know, at some point, I'm sure the queue timers will be a little bit longer. But as of right now, about one to two minutes, you'll be in a game within, you know, really no problems there. Uh, I do want to open every single one of these caches. So we're going to actually do so right over here in this little corner. So a little bit less people and activity going on. Uh, so let's take a look at the very first one, the war spoils. I'm going to do that last for you guys just to see what we get because I think it is just one. You know, we're going to do that first. I believe there's actually better loot in the outpost rush cache. So we're going to do the war spoils first. Um, a 580, not bad. Strength focus, uh, wrecking ball penetration. So this would actually have been really, really good if we got something better and reinforced and we also got con instead of focus. Overall, pretty bad, but it does have a pretty cool looking uh, leather hat if you look at that uh, cosmetic there it's kind of sweet looking uh, as we continue forward though let's take a look at the gear we get in outpost rush you get three items every time so here we got a fire staff 5 557 585 gauntlet and a 586 waterlogged gloves of the assassin nothing good there we're going to continue forward so this time around we have one to look at it's going to be the strength intelligence unfortunately so nothing great there it would have been another great great uh, light user or i guess a light armor strength build because of the insatiable gravity well unfortunately not going to make the cut this time around as we move forward again we have all greens across the board unfortunate we move a little bit farther all greens keep going all greens a 588 though increased crit chance by 13 percent while under 50 percent while berserking it's actually not too bad a 588 with nine strength and 14 con not a bad glove at all for new beginners um, to level 60. You know, I'll probably put this up on the trading post for about 500 gold or so at least and seeing if anyone bites on that one. We do have five more to open. And jumping into this one, we have a 579 purple dex con. Uh, so that's not bad. It does have reinforced again, unfortunately. So durability increase, which we don't really care about. And 579 is a fairly low gear score for what I'm typically getting. Uh, as we move over to the Helm of the Trickster, this is going to be a Dex Intel, so not too great there, but not too bad as well. There are some Dex Intel builds like my own. If we move on a little bit farther, we have all greens across the board. We'll do one more, and we have a 586 Strength Focus and a 584 Intelligence Focus. All together, guys, right now we're getting really, really bad, uh, really unlucky rolls in my opinion. We have two more, though, to go. All greens across the board and another all green. So you guys saw the loot there. It doesn't look great, but you guys have to keep in mind that was just 10 outpost rushes. Um, you know, you're not always going to have the greatest opportunities to grab a ton of free gold and Azoth as well. If you guys play, I believe outpost rush is 360 gold per win. Um, and then it's also 250 Azoth. You guys will have to correct me in the comments if I'm wrong there. I played about you know, 15 of them at this point, and I kept the last 10 so I could open them in front of you guys just to show you guys what you kind of get. It's kind of the same thing as Corrupted Portals when you do major Corrupted Portals. There are some great, great gear, uh, you know, opportunities in there. I just didn't seem to get any luck when it came down to it. Um, you know, you saw Insatiable Gravwell is one of the drops here. It's just really bad rolls on these stats there. Uh, but the Dex Con is not too bad. I wish it would have rolled a little higher, maybe a 591. Like I said, that is going to be the soft cap that we are kind of hoping for. But the big thing that people are doing Outpost Rush for is the gold and the Azoth. You can see here, Azoth being capped at 1,000 out of 1,000. That's going to be something you'll see constantly when I'm playing this game because I'm doing wars, I'm doing invasions, I'm doing Outpost Rush, and they all give me a great supply of Azoth, so I have no problems there. We also have a lot of gold. Typically, uh, I spent probably 100,000 gold so far in this game so i've 
you know, made about 132 K, um, 130 to 150 K probably. So really this is going to be another great way to make money in the game as well. Outpost rush being one of the greatest ways to have PVP action as well. Practice your PVP for wars and open world PVP and all that. So outpost rush altogether, guys, it's back. Definitely take advantage of it. Try it out if you're level 60. If you're not, it's something to look forward to. Like I said, it's great gear. Uh, typically great gear, obviously, this time around with these last 10 caches. I will say on the other five caches I opened, I did get one piece that was pretty solid. I sold it for about 800 gold, so there's additional gold to be made here with uh, with Outpost Rush. If you hit join, join as a social solo player. You can see here in the top, the Outpost Rush queue is at 14 of 40, and uh, it does go very, very quickly, so I'm going to leave the queue because I'm not going to do it right now. But thank you guys so much for tuning in. Make sure to like the video, subscribe to the channel, turn notifications on. One thing I do want to tell you guys, a little bit of a secret here, um, you know, I knew what Outpost Drudge was. I knew that there's going to be a huge need for infused health pots, those tier 5 health pots that were selling for about 2 gold. So what I did is I bought about 800 of them the day it came back out. Knowing this, uh, let's just take a look at the health pots because I thought this was kind of funny. Just um, maybe relevant to you guys. So some guys selling it for 8 gold apiece. That's not too bad, but it was at 20 gold not too long ago. People are buying these left and right because of the need in Outpost Rush. Uh, you, you know, you're popping probably 20 to 40 of these per match, depending on how many fights you're in and what you're really, uh, you know, your role is in Outpost Rush. So these are prices that have definitely skyrocketed. And then Azoth Water with that has also skyrocketed because of the need for Azoth Water to create these potions. So now the cheapest Azoth Water is at 12 20 uh 1229 so i'm curious what your guys's are let me know in the comment section down below what your guys's prices are on azoth water and infused health bots thank you guys again like i said for tuning in i really do appreciate it i'll see you guys all in the next one